All right, doing another problem today from the blind 75 list. This is the longest palindromic substring. Let's read through the problem. Given a string S, return the longest palindromic substring in S. Example 1, B, B, A, D. Example 2, C, B, B, D. So in this case, the longest palindromic substring is uh, okay, B, A, B. Fair enough. In this case, the longest palindromic substring is BB. Now, how to solve this problem? So, one thing is obviously we can consider all substrings. And if you're considering all substrings, you're already doing n square. And for each substring, you check whether it or not it's a palindrome. And to do that, again, it will take length of that. So, overall, it becomes sort of O of n cube. Now, obviously, the task here is to improve the complexity a little bit better. So, the what would be the idea around uh, that? So could we do something like for every index, I we see the longest palindromic substring with this as the middle, right? So this is the concept around expanding from the middle. So for every node, we take and we see what is the max longest palindromic substring uh, with this guy as the middle guy. Now always. So for example, here for with for this A, I go one one step back, so B and B, and then and then if I, if I go further back, there is nothing to go back or uh, right similar similarly here, starting from this B, I go one step back so and one step forward, I see C and B, but there are two things. So even length and odd length, right? So the so two things to take care of. So find the max palindromic substring with each node as center that is one bit and you have to do for both even and you have to do also for odd now in this approach the time capacity reduces a little bit because i'm going through each and every index and for each index i'm looking at and nodes, right? So overall time capacity reduces to just overall n squared. Instead of earlier considering all substring checking the palindrome, which was n cube. Now, how do we handle even length and odd length? So uh, for that, uh, you consider this as a middle, or you consider those two as the same, right? As, I mean, you get the gist about it. So, so for example, this this is the when when I am at this B, right? When I'm looking at the odd length palindrome, I'll check just B is one, and then other would be C and B, and obviously this is not. When I'm looking for even length palindrome, this would be uh, like I will compare this with the either like either on the left side or on the right side. Let's say I take the right side, so I'll take this and this, and if they are not equal, then Obviously, we don't have a, a palindrome to begin to even palindrome to begin with, and then we and then we expand around those two instead of around expanding around just one. So let's try and solve for that. So we go i equals to zero, i is less than um, I stop the length. I just plus and for each in we find max e1 palindrome equals to I just call find max e1 or let's just do you call max as zero and then find the find max e1 palindrome which is, is uh, rooted at uh, i and s and then you also find the Max odd palindrome rooted at i, and something around those lines, and then you 
return max odd is more clearer to me so int find max odd i have in index and i have the string s so from starting from this i take uh, One is left, another is right. So I'll I'll do int uh, common equals to find common, and then I go from one is index minus one, and other is index plus one in this string, right? And what is find common? So int find common. I'll call it left. I'll call it right, and I call the string s. So I have to do while left is greater than or equal to zero and right is less than uh, stop length int common int yeah just common equals to zero. And then all you have to do is, is uh, if s dot caret left equals to equals to s dot caret right, then yes, common plus plus, left minus minus, right plus plus. And if that's not the case, then it's time to return common and here just return so you get this common nodes and the length max odd length palindrome would be what return one plus two times common right and what would be the max e1 length palindrome So for e1 length again, let's try and find common from between whatever this is. Um, let's consider this as the middle and the next guy out after it as the uh, as the end. So for common equals to find common. One is this index and another is index plus one and s, right? So. And you will return what two times common is the answer here or what? So this an example would be something like uh, some garbage, and then one two four four two one, and then again some garbage, right? So now sorry about that. This is two. Now when I'm at this four. The email and palindrome common will start with this and this. So I'll go 1 to 3 and 1 to 3. So common will be 3, 3 times 2, 6. That is how I'm considering. And now obviously, for this guy, when I find the email and palindrome, this will be already out of the limit and it will just return 0. And uh, for odd, obviously, it's just 1. So yeah, so this, this should be fine. Let's run example test cases. And you get a wrong answer, so uh, or a compilation error rather. Yeah, we missed. The argument here, OK, run code. OK, we have to return the string. It returns longest pandemic string. Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, okay, if you have to return the longest pandemic string, then you do something slightly different, uh, which is if
this is greater than max then max equals to okay let's do something slightly different let's call it max e1 and give it this value right and also find max odd right and now if max e1 is greater than max then max equals to max e1 and uh, you need a What is the substring that you need? Uh, how much back I have to go? So if I say its length is six, then I have to go six by two three, and then I have to go one two. Um, and it's, it's as complicated. No, it's not at all. Uh, so. Let's do uh, one, two, three, three, two, one, right? So for i equals to three, I'll get six as the answer, like six as the maximum length. So if six is six by, so the starting point is what? Uh, this is what I need. The starting point is i minus, i is here zero, one, two. So two minus two, and two you get by what? Uh, by max by 2 minus 1 so this is a starting and the and then other thing is the length i guess and length is just uh, max e1 so that is one and for odd if max odd is greater than max then you do the same thing But first you solve the max, no? Yeah, so you get this max odd, and then if your max odd, if max odd is greater than max, then max equals to max odd. An example here also we can do like uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So we are at 2, a length is 5. So we do what? So we want a substring to start. You know the length. Length is fine. Length is max odd. But what's the starting point? Starting point here again is. So we are at two. You want to subtract two. Uh, subtract so i minus. Uh, So 5 by 2 is 2, right? So i minus max by 2. And uh, that should be fine. And OK, so you do return RDT. OK, let's run code. Uh, string return. No, variable return might not have been initialized, so I initialize it now. Okay, submit. And we get some error, obviously. So for the even one, there is a problem, it seems. For the odd one, it worked. For the even one, CBBD, let's quickly see. Index out of bound exception, uh, begin minus one and two. Which path? Check, okay, in the substring function. Okay, so 
that means here yeah so let's quickly see cbbd um, so for p your length you're probably getting is um, 2 uh, or so common one is 1 so you return 2 times of that here so length is 2 so the starting point for 0 1 would have to actually be 1 so you're doing uh, 1 minus max by 2 is what 1 um, then is it that I don't okay so here it was 0 1 2 3 4 5 so Okay, your i is at 2, your max c1 is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, start will be 2 minus well, the common part obviously is 3, so 2 minus uh, 3 is minus 1. So, but you can't go all the way, so plus one actually. So you, so three, minus three, if you go, you're getting one and so plus one, okay. Fine, and submit. And you get the wrong answer again. Again, for the even length, your output was just to be, but that's because you took the odd length one as a better. Uh, Okay, CBBD was the problem. Let's just solve that CBBD and we just print So first you do for E1, so you go max E1, and uh, then you go max odd, right, and let's print this at uh, the end here, and let's see what's the issue. So for C, the E1 length is 0, for odd length is 1. For B, uh, the E1 length is of 2, correct? The odd length is of 1, correct? And then for this guy, the E1 length is 0 because now the width I am considering E1 length is width 0, correct? And the odd length is 1. So all the E1 length, E1, E1 odd, E1 odd is correct. And so obviously this is the maximum. So this is the maximum. Um, again, the starting point seems right. Either, either the starting point is wrong. So for this guy, uh, the length is what? So you go one step back. So you basically that is two, right? So one minus two is minus one. Oh, sorry, one minus one is zero plus one one. So starting point is one and length has to be is is a problem in this this is a length right you always give uh, so we have to see what's the java substring does uh, maybe my understanding of java substring is wrong maybe it's not length maybe it's the right index plus one so java docs okay Um, substring that's a sub string okay so from index one is I'm not using I'm using uh, this one so it's, it's begin index okay and index it doesn't using that is a substring with string uh, and index so it is a substring 
substring begins at a specified begin index and extends to the character at n index minus 1. So you have to give the you have to give the length, you have to give the uh, the rightmost index plus 1. That's what you have to give. Okay, so you have to give the rightmost index plus 1. You complicated it, man. Okay, so in that case, uh, I feel now it's which is which is quite basic. So you go whatever this is. So I think you do this uh, and start equals to this. Right. And so what you do here is uh, start and start plus max even right and you do the same thing here so you go start equals to this and you go from start to start plus max out right and now let's see what it is and uh, where did you miss the semicolon and some And finally, it works. All right. 